Hey guys, True Green 7 here. And one of the effects of a successful franchise such as Pokemon is the desire to enjoy the benefits of the fictional world we love. And any Pokemon fan can tell you that he or she wishes that Pokemon were real. Even non-Pokemon fans wish the same. So in this video, I will address which Pokemon I would choose if I were able to bring one pocket monster into our world. But this is my list, so my personal bias is definitely going to show. It's about which Pokemon I want, and there's only one rule. Arceus is off limits. Legendary Pokemon are allowed, but their effects and behaviors in the real world are accounted for. Now let's go! Number 10 Stoutland You know, I really wish I had a dog. But even though Arcanine is one of my favorite Pokemon, I'd rather have a Stoutland in real life because I don't really want my house to burn down. It's not on my bucket list. And in terms of this video, I have to think realistically. And this Pokemon is as close to a realistic dog as I can get. It's even better than real dogs. Stoutland, known as the Big Hearted Pokemon, is said to be wise and friendly. It rescues people all the time and doesn't expect any reward. This guy is great! By making this video, I convince myself even more about how much I want to have a Stoutland in real life. Number 9 Lapras as the transport Pokemon, it's not a secret that Lapras is great at ferrying people across water. And that's exactly what I will use Lapras for. If I were to surf on the back of any other water type, I'd probably get wet. But with Lapras, I'm perfectly above water. And if we were on land, my Lapras can just use Ice Beam on the ground and slide me across town. Lapras and I will have a boatload of fun. Ha, <laughs> water pun. I swear, that was unintentional. Number 8 Eevee so Eevee is pretty much the only Pokemon on this list that I want to have as just a pet and nothing more. I don't even care if it evolved. I know evolution is the whole point of an Eevee, but in the real world it doesn't really matter. I mean it would be cool if it evolved, but i just like to live with an Eevee for at least like 10 years and then have it evolve into a Sylveon. But Eevee itself would just be really 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 cute. It may be too cute to have in real life. People's heads may explode if they saw one. Number 7 Sceptile. I have to put Sceptile on this list simply because this is my list. If I genuinely want my favorite Pokemon to be real, then you're damn right he's gonna be here. I don't know how useful he will be, but it all amounts to one thing. He probably won't kill me. And after all, isn't every friendship based on the fact that you aren't gonna kill your friend? It's about trust, and I know Sceptile can definitely be my bro. Not a pet like Stoutland, but an actual partner. We'll be fist bumping all day every day pulling off pranks and running around the forest. Good times. Number 6 Metagross Okay, I know I said I wouldn't pick deadly Pokemon, but even though Metagross can wipe out the entire human race in one day, if I had a strong bond with this Pokemon and my Metagross wasn't psychotic, then I think Metagross would be as useful as Superman. It would be cool to just ride on his head and levitate through the city. He could even levitate me if I wanted. He can solve any problem with his four supercomputer brains, and if he so desired, we can go around saving people. If Metagross were real and didn't want to kill anybody, then I think the world would be a much better place. Number 5 Latios and Latias So we covered sea and land transportation, now it's time to talk about soaring through the sky. And what better Pokemon to fly on than one of the Eon duo? And I know it seems like all I want to do is ride all the Pokemon on this list, but I actually consider these two as better alternatives to Metagross. They may not be as smart, but at least they can fly faster and higher and are cuter and more pleasant to be around. Metagross isn't cute. Okay, now he is. Latios and Latios are kind and lovable. I don't know which of the two I would choose though, so... Number 4 Blissey So what if I fell off a cliff? It could happen. If I had a Blissey to call on, she could just give me a taste of her egg and I can heal right up. Maybe then we'll hug it out and be on our merry way. That's what I need a Blissey for. To heal me and give me hugs. It's a pleasant dream of mine. Number 3 Xerneas I think being friends with the Pokemon God of Life would have some benefits. If I'm dying or am already dead, then Xerneas could just give me some of its life force. I, th I think. I don't know if his powers only work on Pokemon. Maybe if it uses its powers on me, then I will become a Pokemon. Maybe I'll become a Xerneas and the cycle will continue. Oh. Number 2. Gardevoir. Gardevoir. Good Gardevoir. Okay, okay, so for the last two entries, I talked about getting healed after getting hurt. 
But what about having a Pokemon that will prevent me from getting hurt and act as my knight? Well, Gardevoir will do just that and look beautiful while doing it. Gardevoir is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon and is amazing in battle. I always have one in my Hoenn journeys, so it would seem fit to have one in real life. Plus, I love saying Gardevoir. Number 1 Mew. Mew Any smart trainer would be able to predict this. I think it would be pretty awesome to have a Pokemon as cute as Mew, but not only can I use Mew's cuteness powers to my advantage, but Mew also has a little move called, um, Transform. Yeah, I think you've heard of it. If Mew could transform into any Pokemon at will, then I might as well put all of these Pokemon in the trash. Except you, Sceptile, you, you can stay. It's not like I'm going to use these Pokemon for battle anyways, although I don't think Mew is as intelligent as the other Pokemon on this list. After living for so long, I sense he's filled with much wisdom. Well, that's all for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Try to check out these two videos and follow me on Twitter and Facebook to keep up to date with my channel. Of course, you can always subscribe to see more. You'll get a Mew as a bonus. It's a good deal.